Hello, this is the Eater 2018 Summer Internship presentation for an opportunity in Southern France. My name is Joseph Crandall. I'm a GW 2017 undergraduate graduate, and this is recorded for the GW STEMH Research Lunch and Learn on January 17th, 2018. My name is Joseph Crandall, and I'm the guy in the light blue shirt with my arms crossed. I completed my BS at GW in May of 2017 with a double major in computer science and physics. I then worked at ITER during the summer of 2017. I'm now working on my master's degree at GW in electrical engineering. In the picture are some of my colleagues that I worked with over the summer. Going from left to right, we have Jamal from France, Marco from Italy, Hungbo from China, Jonathan from Ireland, myself, and Dimitri from Russia. Although ITER is located in France and the workforce is geographically diverse, the working language is English and the working units are metric. But you're probably wondering what ITER is. ITER is an experiment to show how to produce more output power than input power from a nuclear fusion reaction over an extended period of time. If successful, ITER will be the first nuclear reactor in the world to achieve a fusion energy gain factor, referred to as the Q factor, greater than 1. The Q factor, as you can see, is the ratio of output power from the fusion reaction over the input power to initiate the reaction. And the current world record is about 0 0.67 set by the Joint European Taurus. Now, let's take a look at the ITER worksite.
So where is ITER located? Here, we have an image of the center of the ITER worksite. To the southwest, you have Aix in Provence. Further south is Marseille. Southwest on the coast, you have Barcelona and northeast inland, Milan. Here is ITER in relation to Europe and on our home, hungry for power. I worked in the Tokamak water cooling system throughout my summer internship. I worked with software from applied flow technologies, such as Fathom, to calculate pressure, temperature, and required flow rates for different heat exchangers throughout the ITER water cooling system in order to manipulate the input and output temperatures of different fluids as they entered and exited different containment vessels. The goal of this work was to see if any design changes were required for the TCWS. On the wall of our office, you can see the CAD diagrams for the Tokamak water cooling system. I was also able to visit and see different ITER components being installed and constructed. Here, I'm standing next to one of the BioShield ports, which allow different components to access the cryostat. Here, I'm in the coil assembly building where the circular toroidal magnets that confine the plasma are wound. In this model, you can see the six PF coils, which is what you saw being wound in the previous section through this cross-sectional model. The vacuum vessel where the plasma is contained, the central solenoid, which is the large central magnet in this model shown as a cylindrical object, which is currently being built by General Atomics in San Diego, California, and a TF coil, which surrounds the plasma vessel. Finally, you might notice a small man in the bottom right to give a sense of scale to the reactor. Finally, at the entrance to ITER, you can see the flags of the different nations participating in the project. From left to right, you have US, Russia, Korea, Japan, India, the EU, and China. To get to and from work every day, I took an ITER bus from my apartment in Aix-en-Provence to the ITER worksite. Next, I'll give you a quick tour of my living accommodations from when I just moved in. All right, so this is my room as of right now. Let me see if I can turn this around. So, Patios over here. I have this futon bed that I've made, so I have to roll that out and push that back in. Um, two wooden chairs. I haven't really gotten a laundry basket yet. I'm making a list of things I need to buy from Amazon. This is my balcony street. Uh, this is a raised street over here. There's a train that goes under it. I sort of walk that way a couple blocks over to catch the Eater bus in the morning. Um, I need to get some blinds because they don't provide any. I look right into someone else's window. Um, it's a relatively busy Saturday. I have to get everything done because Sunday is everything's closed and Monday's a holiday, so everything's closed then too. It's mainly other students. I've met a couple, but most of them only speak French. So I don't know if things are going to quiet down in a couple weeks when their exams are over. Um, here's my bathroom. Um, no hot water yet because my electricity is only turned on partially. It'll be fully turned on on Tuesday after the holiday. Then I'll be able to get hot water so I can take cold showers. I need to get some soap. There's a lot of stuff I need to buy just in general. Um, but that's the basics of it. They give you some cooking equipment. I need to get something to vent the smoke because I cooked last night and it really smelt my whole room up and my goal is not to have that happen. So. I need to figure something I can mount here that kind of, I don't know, does some form of odor eating. I don't know what options are available for that though. Anyway, um, that's it for the time being. Now, for the duration of the internship. Mine was from June 1st to July 31st of 2017. And due to the payment structure at ITER, it's required that students begin their internships at the start of the month and end on the last day of the month. You may also notice when you check the internship topics, most have listings for approximately six months. However, 
you can explain the time constraints of your summer, and Eater HR will help you set up an internship duration that accommodates the U.S. academic year. My internship contract provided a stipend of 650 euros per month. Travel reimbursement can also be negotiated when the internship agreement is established. I've also included my monthly rental expenses at Los Studios Maribou, and in order to find cheaper accommodations, it's recommended to start the search as soon as possible. Eater HR can help you explore the different options surrounding the worksite, and the Eater Welcome Booklet is a helpful resource to consult as well. Here are the requirements for how to apply for the internship. And I recommend going to the list of topics for the most up-to-date listings of available positions. The following are links to the homepage of the Eater website and the Wikipedia page for Eater. Summer has taught me not only what it's like to work on a scientific mega project and help me focus my interest going forward, it also gave me a chance to meet new people and go to different parts of Europe on my weekends via buses and trains. Overall, it showed me a lot about fusion and also about how one can live in Europe compared to the United States. Here's some important contacts to follow up with if you're interested in applying, and I hope to hear from you soon.